Welcome. We're going to be working on mass to mass stoichiometry problems. These are the trickiest of all, um, just because they involve a couple extra steps. So up until now, all we've had to do is multiply by the conversion factor, which is a coefficient of whatever you seek over whatever you know. No. But now we're going to deal with mass and there's more to it because remember with Avogadro's number you just multiply or divide by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd no matter what substance it was. If you're dealing with gases it's always the molar volume 22.4 liters no matter what substance it is but with mass it's a different GFM for every substance so we're going to need to use GFM so when you start you're going to divide by the first GFM so I'm going to say GFM number one to get moles and then you're going to multiply by your conversion factor and then you're going to multiply by the, your new GFM number two. This is the GFM of what you know. This is the GFM of what you seek and then you're going to get your answer in mass. A mass of what you seek. That was weird. All right. So you also of course need a balanced chemical reaction which we have and a given quantity, which we also have. And this worksheet is always going to have those. If you were doing calculations on your own, you'd need to make sure you had those in order to continue. All right, how many grams of potassium chloride are produced if 25 grams potassium chlorate decomposed? So potassium chloride is what we seek. So potassium chloride is this one. This is what we seek. We know chlorate. So we're going to start there. 25 grams of potassium chlorate. Now, before we go any further, potassium chlorate. So we need to figure out GFM. So potassium is 39. Chlorine is 35. And oxygen is 16 times 3. 16 times 3 is 48. So add those values up. 39 plus 35 plus 48 is 122. So for the sake of keeping things organized, I'm going to erase this here. We're going to divide that by 122, and that would be grams per mole. So when you divide that, 25 divided by 122, you get a long number. Now, if you're rounding to sig figs, you'd need two sig figs because that's 25. Um, we're not going to touch the calculator, just leave it with that big long decimal place. We're going to round at the end. For the sake of me writing, I'm just going to do 0 0.2049. And this is going to be moles of KClO3. That's important because we're going to go from different substances. Now that we're at moles, and you should be having your mole map out, you're going to multiply by conversion factor, what we seek over what we know. So what we seek is 2, what we know is 2. Well, guess what? That's going to give us the exact same number because that's 1. So we'll now we'll have 0 0.0249 moles, but now we're at KCl. Notice I changed my color of my pen. Hopefully that'll help. Now I need to multiply by GFM, but it's not 122. It's the GFM of KCl. So potassium is 39 and chlorine is 35. So 39 plus 35 is 74. So let me go back to my calculator. We're going to multiply. And remember, this is a big, long number. I didn't change it from my calculator, so I'm going to erase that. Um, times 74, and we get 15.1639, etc. Um, so if we need two sig figs, you'd run it to 15 grams of KCl. If you were not asked to round to sig figs and just I don't know, 15.2 might be good. Okay. By the way, I don't have my answer key with me, so if I make any mistakes, just let me know. All right, number two, we have a balanced chemical reaction. We have a given quantity. So 50 grams, I'll stay consistent, 50 grams of nitrogen. This is our no, so we'll start there. And we seek hydrogen. This is our seek. All right, so... To go from grams to moles, we need to divide by GFM. Now, nitrogen has a mass of 14, but there are two of them, so that's 28. So we're going to divide by 28. Okay, 
times from there. So 50 divided by 28 gives me 1.78, whatever. You're going to keep it in your calculator, moles of N2. Now it's time to do our conversion factor. What we seek is 3. What we know is 1. I'll just change color so you can see it. And then I get... 5.35714, blah, whatever, moles. But now I'm not in nitrogen anymore. I'm at the other side of my mole map, hydrogen. Now I need to go to hydrogen by multiplying by the GFM. <clears throat> this is an easy one. Hydrogen's mass is 1, but there are 2 of them. So we're going to multiply by 2. And we're going to get 10.714, blah, 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 blah. Too many decimal places. If you're rounding to sig figs, it would be 3. 10.7, it's just a good place to round one decimal place, and this is going to be grams of hydrogen. Notice how I'm including units throughout, that's useful, and I'm not rounding until the very end. Okay, how many grams are amo of ammonia are produced in the reaction from problem two? That means I have the exact same known or given, I just have a different seek. So if I go back up here, I'll change my seek to ammonia, okay? So I can actually, I don't, can I do that? I'm, can I do this? This is not the time to explore. <clears throat> I'm just going to go from right here. So 1.7857 whatever moles of N2. We have the same given, <clears throat> so I'm just going to stick with that. But now we're going to have a different conversion factor. It's a 2 to 1 this time. So... We're just going to change it to 3.57, blah, blah, blah. Keep all the long decimal places on your calculator, moles of ammonia. So then we're going to multiply by the new GFM, ammonia, 14 for nitrogen, and this is 3 times 1, so that's 3, add it up to 17. And so you're going to get 60.71428, whatever. So let's do 60.7 grams of let me clear that up. Grams of ammonia. Okay. All right. Doing good. All right. How many grams of silver chloride are produced from five grams of silver nitrate reacting with an excess of barium chloride? Okay. So the, the whole excess part that we don't need to worry about for this math. Um, we could talk about that later. Um, we're talking about limiting reagents, um, but for right now, we don't need to know about that. So our given is five gram silver nitrate. So silver nitrate is here. This is what we know. So five grams silver nitrate. And what do I seek? I seek, it's a dark blue. I seek silver chloride. So here it is. This is what I seek. All right, back to my purple. So now to go from grams to moles, we're going to divide by GFM. So silver is 108, nitrogen is 14, and this is 3 times 16. I should know these by now, but I don't. 48, I never did my 16 times tables. So 108 plus 14 plus 48, GFM of that whole thing is 170. Let's clear that up. So 170 grams per mole. So 5 divided by 170 is 0 0.02941. And this is going to be moles of silver nitrate. Good. Now let's figure out a conversion factor. Seek over no is a 2 over 2. Uh, so that doesn't change our answer. So it's going to be that 0, 2, 9, 4, 1. But we're going to have moles of silver chloride this time. OK? Multiply it by our GFM. Silver is, we said 108. Chlorine is 35. So 108 plus 35 is 143. So let me just quickly do this math times 143 gives me 4.2058. That's way too many sig figs. Uh, let's go with 4.2 grams of silver chloride. All right, so I'm going to erase this and clear it up for you. All right, last one. 
Now we have the exact same given. We just have a new seek this time. So I'm going to go to here. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Uh, let me go back to this just for the sake of keeping things clear. Um, okay, so in this one, I seek barium chloride. Okay, so it's going to be a little bit different. But I'm going to have that same given because I'd have the same given. I'd have the 0 0.02. This is a little bit too thick. 2941 moles of the silver nitrate. I don't need to do that math again. I have it. And this time, my seek is, I think that's still too thick, um, a 3. So 3. So 3 over 2. So let me do that math. Times 3 divided by 2. 0, 4, 4, 1, 7, 1, 1, 7, 7. Who cares? Moles of barium chloride. Now we're going to need to multiply it by the GFM of this. So this is 35 times 2. So that's 70. Move that up. And then barium is 137. So 137 plus 70 is 207 grams per mole. So let me go back. Point Hold on. For the sake of all this, I'm, I'm doing that times 3 divided by 2. Okay, now multiply by 207. So you get 9.13235. So let's just say uh, 2659.1 grams of barium chloride. Okay, if I made any mistakes, let me know. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.